just could be us So back to what I was saying Could, could be us Welcome back to Motorsports Gaming and in today's video we're actually going to be checking out a car that someone requested um, I'll show you the car This is the RSQ8 and uh, I'm here to give it to uh, one, of the one of the viewers asked for me to review one of these cars uh, eventually and for those of you who are probably wondering in your heads when is like you get, when are you going to like stop making like Roblox video and go back to the normal Motorsports view videos eventually i will but yeah we're checking out this rsq8 uh very nice car i mean just just look at it from the outside and it has all the things i would want inside the rs so that's pretty cool all right let's hop in here obviously it has all these cool things like the updated mercedes it just it says audi um obviously we have that but right now i mean i'm gonna show you guys the outside so the outside details are beautiful no this is not a model i created uh i might have the okay i will probably put in the link hopefully if i don't forget but also remember this um the car does have kill seat i just removed the kill seat but uh don't be going around stealing models but um i just gave you this one to show you uh, the map I'm currently in is not a map that someone else owns. This is my own personal map where I test out cars and stuff like that. Um, so I might leave the link to that. I mean, it's blank, so and you need admin. But when I update the map and add cars to these garages, then I'll just like put in the link for you guys. But right now, it's currently under development. Uh, it's very blank. So yeah, I'm sorry, but. Yeah, that's that's what we're rocking for now but that's fine because we can just enjoy this car all right let me open the door i don't see the lettering light up so we're pretty cool but we're at the track today so we're actually testing this on the track usually i would just do a video where i'm like somewhere else but nah today we're actually testing it at the track so let's get into it Ooh, very nice that all right so you already know how this is gonna go Okay. What? This is pretty dope. Wait, let me see something. No. Okay, this car has something unique to it, okay? I feel like it has one of those lights. The welcoming lights. So I really have to see that action. I'm sorry. I have to see that. I mean, obviously, it can't do it now, but yeah, because I kind of ruined I don't think it does, but that was pretty cool. That was a beautiful startup. Um, pretty plain display, but I'm not really here. Like I said, this car is probably like going under under phases. Uh, I know like cars like this one, um, they're currently going through a phase. Uh, right now, you just get this display. So eventually, you might get something far better than what I'm getting right now. Uh, but before we go on the track, um, let's mess around with this, this, this thing right here. So there's the ambient settings. So those are the lights inside the car. Uh, probably put out the sunroof. I mean, come on, we're going on, we're going out on the track. Uh, we have a car seat in the back. Like, why don't we give the children the best experience? The imaginary children in the back. Uh, oh yeah, right. Cause you have to put it up. All right. Okay. All right. So that's what I'm talking about. And then also we have the ambient lights. The lights you can mess around with. I mean, make them blue. And then you have another ambient setting. So you can have something totally different. Like let's say you want blue, but then you also want red. You can get both of those things. I I don't know why you would want blue and red. Not my favorite combination, but who cares? I mean. You have your different taste, even if it's a little odd. Um, yeah, I love this car. Look, it's like white on the outside and red on the inside. My favorite combinations for a car. Um, not very common for cars. So we're gonna switch this probably to red to match the other part. Uh, obviously you get interior lights and all this other stuff. But you didn't come here just see the lights, action, 
Uh, I'm not like those other reviewers. They don't even review the cars. They don't even talk. But here I make it a little interesting. And uh, I like it when you guys comment. So make sure you guys like today's video. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, hit that bell icon. That would really help significantly. But right now we're going to go on to the track. And test this car out. Alright, so... Currently it's... It's very fast, like too unrealistically fast. So even putting in sport would just be plain useless because there's, I mean, it just goes even more extreme, but you know, it's fine. And these roads are very long. I wish the track was kind of short. So you can like feel all the turns, but I don't know. They, for some reason they made it so long. Oh shoot, we're running at like 300 miles per hour. The brakes are probably gonna explode by the time. Like they're just gonna be dust in a bit. I'm surprised we're even able to actually balance this car. Like, come on. This can't even be miles per hour, come on. This gotta be like kilometers, cause, wow, I mean. I mean, it's just so ridiculously fast. Like, look at that. We're having a hard time turning this thing. Uh, but we'll do all right. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to keep it realistic. Probably go like nothing beyond. How do you put in manual? So nothing beyond fifth gear. 188 miles in a uh, BM, uh, Audi SUV sounds realistic. Uh, but I'm gonna stick with that for now. It's hella fast, but it's probably not meant for these type of roads. I mean, I don't think it's made for the track too much. You can go fast in it, but gosh, is it too fast? Yeah, it's just too, too fast, too unrealistic, but I mean, so far it's good. So we just completed the warm up lap. Now we're going into the actual, you know, driving lap. So here we'll actually get the real uh, feel of how well the car goes. So we're going to go to the starting line. And hopefully, hopefully things go good. Ooh, pull her back. All right, let's push this thing back. Oh, so you can turn on the ambient. You can put on the hazards, but you can't, like... Um, turn on the airbags, weird. Uh, but, hey, whoever created this car, it's really good. It's just, I wish, I wish you could just make it a little bit more on the realistic side. It is sequential, though. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Look. Like, it, it doesn't just flash, it just goes across, you know? That's what they mean by sequential lights, which is what I like about Audis. Although I feel like Audis are just, they just feel so basic, you know? Like you never feel like you're getting the highest, best car, best version of a car. So, all right, let's go start racing this thing. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh god, that was actually a really good startup. It just flew, I mean, I don't even know what happened there. Okay, let's try not to go 140 miles around the corner. Obviously that doesn't work. Okay. Four two forty seven, two forty eight, like Yep. And then that happens. 
right, let's fly back into sixth gear. See, it doesn't even go. Um, it struggles. So, fifth gear is very slow. So, probably ideal would be second gear and then boosting into fifth gear. That's, that's if you want to get probably the best experience without it being too much out of control yet, you know, still getting that same amount of power. But I mean, the, the, the big problem with this car is the fact that I can't get it to give me the best experience. Like the best like Audi feeling. So right now we're gonna go into the pit stop. Uh, and I think that's all I'm gonna do for this car in terms of the driving conditions. I'll probably show the little it's and bits of this car. Um, yeah. I mean, is it my favorite? Uh, yeah, in terms of, you know, the design, a lot of... It, I mean, it's different from me just driving the BMWs and stuff. I wish there was a screen right here, but then I'll give them an excuse because, I mean, this car doesn't seem like it's fully complete. Uh, I've seen another model of this. I just chose this one because this is the most beautiful one I can find. And they all come in, like, different flavors and designs but they seem to have this consistent uh thing where they where they just have you know the standard three point uh version three mercedes equipment um th does that mean it's a terrible car no it's honestly a really good car if you're able to uh control it I suffered controlling it, uh, so I mean, just go for it if you think you can handle it. Um, but it still needs some work here and there, especially with the driving experience, like I said. But the designs and everything, it works just how you would expect it to. This is how it's supposed to work. All these cars are supposed to work this exact same way. And yeah, I think this car is perfect. For, you know, anyone who just like wants to have one of these models. So, but I think, but I hope this uh, video um, is as great as you hoped it would be. Uh, thank you for watching today's video on Motorsports Review. I'm up Becker Ali. Uh, I was glad to test this car. Um, actually, let's make it nighttime. Why not? We, I think we just left it in comfort. If you want to get sport. That's how sport feels like. So. But I mean, this car is amazing. Uh, beautiful design. A uh, nice combination. It just fits everything. So, yeah. That's all That's all for the new Audi. So, uh, thank you for watching today's video on Motorsport TV. I'm Abbek Ali. Make sure you guys like, subscribe like usual make sure you also comment what cars you want to see um but yeah i mean that's all for today's uh audi the audi rs8 i don't know why that took me forever to say but yeah the audi rs8 uh it was a very good car definitely definitely something i would like to try some even more uh, I'll also make sure to put the link inside the description for you guys to try check out this car and probably purchase it yourself. But yeah, so enjoy your day and thank you for watching.